Allison and I'm here with the Baby Lock Ariel. The Ariel is a combination embroidery and sewing machine and we're going to be talking about both sides of that machine today. So first things first, let's dig into the embroidery. The Ariel has an embroidery field of 8 by 12 inches and it comes with a hoop to fit. It also comes with a 5 by 7 hoop and both of these have grids that come with them which will help you place your design in the hoop so that everything will stitch in the correct place. The Ariel has 262 different built-in designs as well as 19 different fonts. You can always bring in your own design by putting it on a flash drive and inserting it into the USB port which is built into the machine. It also has a 7 inch LCD color touchscreen which is really helpful when you're working with building a design and editing. So let's go ahead and build the design. So I'm going to grab one of the designs that is built in here and we will use the Florida Lee. I'm going to set it to my embroidery screen and then I can edit it however I need to. I can increase the size by 60% or I can decrease the size by 20% and the sc screen here is going to give me a lot of information about what is happening and the details of my design. It's going to let me know which hoop I can use for this, which hoops in plural, because um, this one will fit in the 4x4, 5x7, or 8x12, and it'll highlight those for me. It's also going to show me the exact size of the design, the width and the height. It's going to show me the different colors that I'm going to change to and how long each color will take to stitch. Now when we get to stitching, I'm actually just going to do all of this in one color and I'll show you how we do that too. This machine makes it really easy. Now wherever I move my design on my screen is where it's going to stitch out in the hoop. And I can either use my stylus, which comes with this machine. You can also just use your finger. And then there are also arrows here. So I can recenter it perfectly, very easily. I can also copy and paste the design and have multiples on the screen. I can delete whichever ones I want. And I can also mirror image, which is difficult to see with the floor delete, but it's still a great feature. Now let's add a little bit of text to this. The fun thing about this machine is I can add multiple designs and create my own custom design with what's built in. So we're going to be stitching this on a tea towel. So we'll pretend that this is a gift. Um, I'm going to say welcome to the Johnsons as though it's a wedding gift. And what we're doing here, when I start adding the font and the text, then I'm going to choose the size that I want. And so you can always check and see what you think is proportional to your design. We're going to go with a middle size font here. And as you can see on the Arial, we have access to both uppercase, lowercase letters, numbers and punctuation. And it's all accessible here. I don't have to do a whole lot of scrolling. It's all of the letters are here on the front of my screen, as well as the space. The other really cool thing that we can do is I can create a second line of text without having to stop, edit anything, and go back. All I have to do is hit this button, and then we are ready to start typing in our text. And then if we mess something up, all we're going to do is delete that. And now when I set this, it's going to treat both lines as different designs. So I can do all of the editing that I need to, to each line independently. So I'm going to bring this second line down here below the floor to Lee and this one a little bit closer to it. And then I can array both lines around that floor to Lee to give the whole thing a really nice curved look. We'll round that one up and then I can also have more precise editing and change the roundness of that curve. Whether I want it to curve more or curve less, I can control that. The other thing I can do is change the spacing between the letters. So if it feels a little bit wide, we can just go ahead and bring all of that in. So that way it'll match a little bit more to the top. Now I'm going to bring this more to the center of the screen so that it's going to stitch out for sure in that 5 by 7 hoop. So here I'm using the center button and then the arrow to raise it up. 
and then this will allow me to make sure that everything is centered before we stitch. And before we get to stitching, I'm gonna double check what this looks like in my hoop using this button right here so that we can see exactly how it's gonna look before we put our hoop into the machine. I'm gonna pull the bottom part down just a little bit Take a look at that and we are good to go. So now all I have to do is put my hoop in the machine and get stitching.